Okay, Rachel is asking, on teams with people in different roles who work on and interact with testing, e.g. developers, test engineers, voice testers, etc., how do you suggest sharing the responsibility for testing at different levels and avoiding assumptions that people in other roles will take care of testing for a particular risk? Mm -hmm. I guess this applies to almost anything, but I suppose it can trip it more in mobile perhaps. Yeah, exactly. But it's a really, it's a really good question actually. And um, it, it's really different. It's really different from team to team, I would say, how to treat and how to deal with that. I work with developers that loved to test and to support the testing. I work with developers that hated testing at all. They even, they were refusing to write unit tests. At some point they had to because the, the bosses told them to do so. <laughs> so I think, I think the most important thing is that somebody has, is, is, you know, has the, the testing head on his head somehow and is telling people like, okay, that's the way how you should test. Maybe this is, these are good approaches and good, good ways to go can be going in the direction of a testing coach, supporting the team and getting into testing more and more and also explaining them what is the value of testing and how to do it right. Because otherwise, in the end of you, you can end up in a situation and say, okay, I've tested it. I clicked like two, two to three buttons and we all know that sometimes developers only look for the heavy part because it's their precious code. You know, it's working. Of course, it's working. It cannot be broken. I have seen this as well and heard this a couple of times. So that's why I think the testers should help the team in become a better test in better in testing. And what we also do in, in our my team <clears throat> is we do a whole team um, testing approach. So I told Vernon in like before the before the, the, the session started that in my team the testers currently on parental leave for, for four weeks and we have no coverage from another like professional tester I would say and the whole team is covering the testing. So whenever we have like a, a column that says okay testing ready. So whenever somebody wants to start a new ticket, a development ticket, and the testing ready column has at least one entry, this person is not allowed to take the development ticket, but rather has to do the testing. And if, if they don't know how to test, they should pair in testing, right? And of course, if they don't know if it's done right, they can still get support from the outside, from other testers supporting them. But this is just the last, last chance to do so, right? So that's, I think it's a, it's a valid thing that you maybe also can look into. Like there's a lot of trainings, workshops uh, online on whole team testing. I think there were also some sessions already with Lisa on, on, on the dojo, right? When, I'm, if I'm not wrong. Whole Say that again, testing. sorry. I think Lisa Crispin did like once in a masterclass or was it an yes. ask me anything was about a, was a, was whole team ask, testing? It was an ask me anything session exactly uh, so. on whole team testing yeah. so definitely hit up exactly. the uh, back catalog for that session mm -hmm. so rachel if this is something that you this some, maybe something for you to look into but again somebody should has the the testing head on and should be like not responsible for it but just should should lead the testing activities in the team and then try to convince developers supporting the testing activities yeah.